All right, what's up everybody? Uh, it is my birthday and I have a little bit of free time today. I uh, didn't have too much to do for work. So I'm gonna try to get out here and go fish for a couple hours. Gonna try out the bull shad. May not be the right time to do it, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Uh, I got a new rod for it, so I kinda just wanna go out here and just wing it. But uh, pretty nasty day, if you can tell. There's rain all over my boat. It is raining right now. And you know what? I don't care, because I get to go fish. So let's just do this. All right, guys, so this is the uh, bull shad, the six inch slow sink bluegill color. Apparently this is a new color, so um, it's pretty nasty out in the water here at Chesden. I mean, the water temp is 51, which is actually better than what I thought it was gonna be, but it's super muddy, so I'm just gonna try it out. I bought this new rod. It's the uh, bull shad rod, the Dobbins. Um, I think it's, yeah, so it's, here we go 8.3 um, heavy fast made for all the uh, bull shads so let me get this rigged up and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be running a uh, 5 8 to 1 reel on this um, I'll use I'm actually gonna use braid I just like braid just in case you know you ever need to bend out a hook or anything like that you have more of a chance of getting your lure back so especially with these you know 70 dollar lures you need some so Yep, let me get this rigged up and I'll uh, I'll show you guys what I got. Another thing, I bought this new reel. The guy at Dances said it was pretty good. It's the uh, Cardiff 300A Shimano. Uh, he said it's pretty good if you like these uh, circular reels. Um, really, the reason I bought it is one, because he said it was good, and two, it was somewhat affordable. I think it was like 130 bucks comparable to my Transx's that are 300, and there's another one over there. So we're gonna try it out and see what happens. Again, 30, 30 pound braid. So let's do it. This is a point that comes out with this dock and I'm just gonna burn this bait all the way around through here and I'm gonna cover some water. And it looks like there's a ton of fish right here but I'm gonna ignore my live scope today. At least try to. So he just troll motor on high and he burns this puppy. But let me just say, a little wet, rainy. So, now this reel is pretty smooth. I'm, I'm honestly pretty impressed right here with it for as cheap it is, as it is. I say cheap, but it's not really that cheap. Controller motor on high, I'm going. Thank you. 
There's a big one, guys. Absolute big one. Dude, freaking, I think it's a good one, guys. It's a freaking tank, man. Freaking tank. I'm just, let me get this hook out of it before it hooks me. Look at that. On the freaking glide bait. God, what a fish, man. What a fish. Cool, man. First ever glide bait fisher. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Woo! Jeez. Woo! Let me get me out of here. Oh man. I mean, that's probably eight, seven. I'm, I threw it way back up here. It was real shallow. I mean, you look, it's three feet back in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's get it, boys. Oh. Big one. I mean, I, that's one of the bigger fish I've caught. God, my, let me turn this bad boy up and get us out of here. Woo. Put it in here. We're going to catch us some more. We're going to get some pictures. Woo. Got the bluegill color. The reason I bought bluegill, I actually bought it today. Um, I have a couple of the uh, gizzard shads coming, but today I, I knew I was gonna come fish this dirty water. So I just went ahead and went and bought something a little bit more bright, which is the bluegill color. He said it was new. I'm not too sure how new, how new that is, guys, but I'm sure you guys will tell me more than I would. I would know, so. Oh, man. Let's do it again. Good God. That's a big one. That's probably at least seven. At least seven. But all I'm doing, it's actually pretty hard. Knowing what I know now, I'm probably gonna end up buying like a seven three to one for, for these baits because it's really hard to burn with a five eight to one. Um, and what I'm doing is, just like that guy said in the video, is throw it out and create the little V coming down the water. And that's all I'm doing. And it's really hard to do, so I would definitely recommend at least a six five to one or something like that. Um, I've got the five, and I just thought, you know, swim bait, five slow. But if I had to do it over again, I'm probably gonna end up buying like a seven. So, I mean, it is raining. I mean, raining, cold. Like I said, water's 49. Um, and it is just not a good day, but it's my birthday and I had some time off, so I figured I'd just come on out. Yeah. And that is worth it. Worth every ounce of time I put in today, which has been about which has been about two hours so far. No, it hadn't even been two hours. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. So, like I said, just creating a big V out there. This is 
what the bull shad will get you. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, really fun day today. Obviously, any day that you get to fish on your birthday and catch a seven pounder, it's gonna be a good day. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me just to get out. I mean, I know the conditions weren't perfect for a, uh, a bull shad, but at least I caught one uh, on, a, on a bait that I've never used. And um, that just gives me confidence in something that I'm not typically throwing a lot. So, you know, obviously it's, it's cool when you can do those kind of things. So I'll be throwing it a lot more this spring and, you know, hopefully I'll uh, pick up the big swim bait game a little bit more. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See ya.